milkweed is a winter annual. That means that it prefers coming up in really late winter and it likes cold temperatures. So it likes the, the cold, the cool temperatures. It may come up in the fall when the temperatures are getting cooler and then over winter and really come on strong in late winter, early spring, like right now. And then when it starts getting warm to hot, it dies out. It will turn yellow, it'll turn brown and it will be done. And we have been receiving some photos from uh, clients and they want it identified and it grows in a clump like you see here. Or if they don't have photos, they will say, I have this uh, light green colored weed and it, it's growing in a clump in my flower bed. So anyway, it's a very common weed. There's common chickweed and mouse ear chickweed. It does look like it is growing in a clump that the pictures you see here at the top are, that's one plant. It produces a white flower and that white flower will produce seeds. And being an annual, it's only gonna live you know, for one growing season and that flower is gonna produce seed and those seeds are going to uh, drop into your flower bed or your yard and be there for a new crop come fall when it gets cooler or next spring. This is dead nettle. Dead nettle is in the mint family. It has a square stem and it has purple flowers. Notice the leaf shape on this. The leaves are serrated, they are pointed or somewhat pointed and they droop downward. This one is often confused with henbit, but the way you tell the difference is from the shape of the leaves and the way those leaves are, are drooping down. And it is a winter annual. It starts coming up in late winter and it will start fizzling out when it gets really hot. And then here we have henbit. And as you're driving down roads, you may see fields of henbit. Just about a week ago, I saw on Facebook where somebody said, and this was in South Missouri, they said, uh, what a pretty field of, of clover. And they thought it was a little early for clover. Well, yes, it's a little early for a red clover to be in bloom. And what they really saw was a field of henbit. And henbit is different um, in its leaf shape or it has a different leaf shape than dead nettle. And here at the lower left, you can see the difference between the two plants. Henbit leaves are whorled around that stem. Now, both are in the mint family, both have square stems, but henbit has leaves that are whorled around the stem and it too has purple flowers versus the dead nettle, which has more of a pointed leaf and those hang downward. Henbit can be uh, in a clump like you see in the lower right. And it too being a winter annual produces seed those seeds will drop into your flower bed or your lawn and be there and then germinate when the temperature is just right in the fall or the following spring. Now, how do you control these? If it's in your flower bed or your, your garden, you can apply a pre-emergent in mid-February here in North Missouri. So I applied preen in some of my flower beds where I knew I'd had chickweed and henbit problems. I, I applied in uh, Mid-February in Southern Missouri, you probably need to apply sooner than that. And I use a uh, preen containing trifluralin, which is a synthetic ingredient. They do make vegetable preen or organic preen, which is meant to be used around edible crops, uh, like your plants in your, your garden that you're planning to eat. But for a flower bed, you can use uh, the, the preen containing the active ingredient trifluralin. If the plants are already up and growing, preen will not do you any good. Preen kills the seed that is in your lawn or your flower beds. So at that point, preen's not gonna do any good. You need to hand pull, hoe the weeds out, or you can use herbicides. You can use Roundup, it is non-selective, meaning it will kill anything it touches. So you have to be very careful using it. I just told someone uh, yesterday that if they're going to use Roundup in a flower bed with existing you know, desirable plants, they may want to get a large piece of cardboard and put that up against their desirable plant to keep from spraying that plant and only spray the weeds. 
There's also brawley herbicides that can be used on chickweed, dead nettle, and henbit. And Trimec is one of the products that you may find on a garden shelf. Weed Begone is another one. And there are many more. I'm not you know, exactly telling you which one to use, but there are many out there. And you know, if, if you're looking for one, you know, most of them contain 2,4-D and, and other ingredients. Um, but just know the difference between a non-selective herbicide being Roundup versus the broadleaf. Um, because Roundup is going to kill everything and the broadleaf herbicides will kill broadleaf plants. So it is safe to use on your lawn. It will, it will not kill lawn grass. It kills broadleaf plants. And if you have any questions about identifying these plants, if you're still not sure, you know, let's say if it's henbit or dead nettle, or if you're not sure, you know, if it really is chickweed or not sure what chemical to use or, or exactly how to get rid of it, please reach out to one of us. We'd be glad to look at your photos and help you identify it and, and uh, recommend a product that would work for you.